Celebrating over 150 years, BASF has employees around the globe that teach hands-on, inquiry-based science to our youth. BASF creates chemistry for a sustainable future. Welcome to BASF Science Club. I'm Paul Ray from BASF, here with my son Lachlan. Today we're going to explore how greenhouses work. To test this at home, you'll need two thermometers, a notebook and pencil, a clear jar, a watch, and a sunny area. Lay your thermometers in direct sunlight and let them sit for two minutes. While you wait, create a chart containing two columns, one labeled greenhouse and one labeled outdoor thermometer. At two minutes, read and record the time and temperature on your chart. Now put one of your thermometers in the jar and seal it, making sure it is in direct sunlight and not shadowed by the lid. Record your temperatures every 10 minutes. Did the container affect the temperature? The air inside the jar is trapped and can't mix with the surrounding air. It just keeps getting warmer as the sun heats it up. A greenhouse works in a similar way. Solar energy in the form of light creates heat that can't escape the glass. Go to abc11.com forward slash science club to find more and visit us on Facebook to share your results. Thanks for watching BASF Science Club.